Hello everyone, Mike again here with another Star Wars Destiny video. Today I am taking a look at um, the starter, starter decks and if it is worth it to pick up two copies of each starter. So um, currently I only have one of each starter. I have the Rey and the Kylo Ren starters. I am considering getting another one of each, mostly to get um, two ofs of the cards in the starter that you only get singles of. Uh, the big one, the big obvious one being, if you buy a second Ray starter, you get another Finn die, so you can run um, Finn, or two two Finn dice in your build. Um, there are some other cards that you only get one of in each starter, um, the main ones being some stuff like Mind Probe and Force Throw, and you also would get, you know, a couple couple more lightsabers if you were doing any blue builds because those can go on both hero or villain cards so it you can use um, them in like a Jedi deck or a Sith deck and they can go between both and I believe those ones have redeploy as well so you can transfer them to another character but we're gonna look at it if it's worth it to pick up another uh, starter of each um, I think currently um, if you can if you can find them at retail cost, so where they're not um, the prices aren't super high, it's probably worth getting the extra starters because currently there are some single dice that are being sold, which um, for for example, like a fin die. I once saw a fin die for about fifteen dollars on on eBay, and fifteen dollars is the retail price on the starter set. So for the cost of one thin die, you would still get that thin die plus all the other um, cards and dice that come in the race starter. And then um, you can also use duplicates, you know, to trade and things like that. Um, the major issue, though, right now is availability and price. Um, so Star Wars Destiny is flying off the shelves in many stores. Um, online stores are sold out as well. And if you can find starters online, they are generally um, fairly expensive. I think I saw like a um, a Finn, or not a Finn, a Kylo Ren starter on eBay for like $30. And for $30, it's probably not worth it. Um, when I bought my two, they were um, $15 each. So you're looking at a $60 investment total if you're going to get two of each and have four total starters. But I wouldn't pay more than uh, retail, or more than maybe, like, I think 20 would be the most I would spend on one of these starters. But um, as supply issues get resolved, hopefully more of these will show up in stores and online for the retail cost. And if you can pick them up at retail, I would recommend getting getting two of each so you can get, um, you know, get that extra fin die. You can then run two mine probes or two force throws. In your decks that are using those dice this currently for example in my Darth Vader deck I have a mind probe but I would really like to have two mind probes or also two uh, force throws as well because force throw is a very strong uh, die it's a, like you can remove a die and do damage based on it um, I also um, asked people in the Star Wars Destiny Facebook group what they thought of get picking up two starters and I'll leave a link into the in the description below to where you can uh, actually take a look at that conversation and I would also recommend um, joining that Star Wars Destiny Facebook group as well because like I said in an earlier video it's an excellent community of Star Wars Destiny players and they discuss strategy and you know they have people answering questions all the time people sharing decks it's a very very awesome Facebook community so I would, re would recommend checking them out and checking out the discussion I had with about this subject in that group but um for me um like i said i think it's worth it to get the extra starters because you get let's say you were like i said if you were paying 15 dollars for a fin die when you can actually just buy a race starter for 15 you're going to get more more dice more cards than you would just buy buying that dice singly but um i wouldn't like i said earlier i wouldn't pay more than probably $20 at the most for one of these starters. 15 is retail, I believe. At least that's what I paid. So um, I would recommend waiting for supply issues to um, be resolved, and then prices will come down. And once they're available at retail again, I would recommend picking up um, two of each if you haven't picked up any already, or one more of each if you already have both. But again, I'm going to leave that link in the description below to check out that Facebook group. 
uh, join the group. Um, it's awesome. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back uh, tomorrow with another breakdown video. I believe we're doing the uh, First Order TIE Fighter video tomorrow. So that'll be up uh, probably around 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is probably when videos are going to be posted. So in the meantime, um, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, just twitter.com slash icewarm. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do that as well at patreon.com slash icewarm. All the help is appreciated. So again, thanks for watching and take care.